Major updates of Datamosure Pro in 2023. The first thing added to Datamosure Pro is the new video editor. Let me show you how you can use it. Here we have two separate videos. I have downloaded these videos from pexels.com which are free to use. Now we will combine both videos into one so that we can data mosh them later. We can do this inside this new video editor window. This is a easy node based video editor. We can right click here and add a video node. A video node allows us to import a video file. I added two video nodes, now we will import both the videos we have. You just have to drag and drop the videos like this. You can do some basic changes in the video like trimming, reversing and changing the speed. This is specially designed for preparing videos for data motion. Let me do the same for the second video. After that we will add a merge node which allows us to merge these video together. You can connect the video nodes to the sockets like this. However you can merge up to 5 videos with one merge node. The video connected to the top socket will be rendered first, in the end just connect the merge node to the output node. In the output node you will have some export settings. No need to change these if you are a beginner, just click on render video and save it. You can view all the conversion logs in the console window. If you want to cancel any process then press the Q key on your keyboard. Just wait for the rendered video. After that you can import this video directly by clicking on yes. Here we have the rendered video. You can see that the two videos are merged successfully. Now let's data mosh this video. We will use the void mode to create the data mosh transition because I want to show you one more feature. First of all, let's mosh this without changing any settings. Here is the moshed video. But you can see that we have no data mosh transition. Let me explain why this happens and how we can fix this. After motioning the video with void, you can analyze the video vectors using this graph feature. You can see that the graph is empty and that is why we got no transitions. But once you increase the kill frame slider and see the graph, you can see a graph line here. This line value shows that the frame which will be deleted. The more you increase the frame size the more suitable frames will be deleted and you will get the data mosh transition. Let me change this to point 3 and see the results. It's done, now let's see the change. Here is our data mosh transition. You can see how beautiful it looks. I hope you get the idea of the graph feature. However you can do the same transition with other effects, but void mode is automatic. Let me show you the next feature. When you right click in the video player, some new options will appear. You can click on the first option to import any moshed video as the original one, and apply more effects to it. This is just a quick option that will save your time while importing. You can apply more glitch effects to these clips easily. Let me also tell you that you can now drag any video to Datamosure Pro like this. It will simply import the video and save your time. I also added some new settings, one useful setting is the sub process option. If you click this option then you will have a new button to cancel any conversion process.
This is useful for beginners who doesn't know how to cancel any process in the console. We also have some new themes like the acrylic one. This is a great theme which have blurred background. We also added colors for default dark and light themes. You can easily customize your Datamosher Pro application. You can read all the minor changes and bug fixes in this page. These are the major updates of this year. More updates coming in the next months.